In this sponsored tutorial, we're gonna look at the bridge theme. It is the number one best-selling creative theme on Theme Forest. It has so many awesome features, I could barely fit them all into one video. And my favorite feature by far is the complete website templates. These aren't just pages you have to mix and match. These are complete websites. And there are over 380 of them that you can install with a few clicks. So if you have clients or you build a lot of websites for yourself, you can build complete websites in a couple hours. And if you stack on top of that all the other features I'm gonna show you in this tutorial, this theme is a no-brainer. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up? My name is Bjorn. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any videos. And make sure you check out the Facebook group linked to in the description down below so we can all help each other get better at WordPress and create great things. And with that out of the way, let's check out the screen capture. I'll see you there. The Bridge Theme by Code is the number one selling creative theme on ThemeForest. It's currently $59. They have 106,000 sales, five-star rating for over 5,000 reviews. You can't fake that. That's, this is a quality theme that has a lot of quality elements. I think the reason it's rated so highly and doing so well is a number of reasons. First is the demos, which we're gonna look at in just a minute. But secondly is being able to switch it to a magazine style theme with a few clicks, which is awesome. The powerful listing functionality, which we'll get to in a minute as well. They are completely integrated with WooCommerce. Who doesn't want a WooCommerce shop these days? Well, they integrate fully with WooCommerce. It comes with premium plugins installed, Visual Composer, Slider Revolution, Layer Slider, and the Timetable plugin all built in. This Visual Composer is actually called WP Bakery Page Builder, but it's the same plugin. Some other things that are awesome about this theme is they now have full restaurant functionality, meaning you can quickly and easily design restaurants. Front-end login functionality, allowing you to quickly create memberships with social login with this theme. And most importantly, I think going back to my first point, is the demos. This is the bridge web page on the Code Interactive website. There's a link in the description down below. They currently have 376 website demos. And these aren't just page templates. These are complete websites. So this quickly, as an example, let's go to this one right here. We click on it, it takes you to a separate subdomain where we see the demo and it has the home page all built out, all the navigation. If you go to the About Us page, it takes us to the About Us page. And the tour page is the tour page and on and on. And perhaps most importantly, all these designs are mobile ready. So if we inspect this using the Google Chrome Inspector and change our user agent to a mobile phone, if I click on this little icon here, right now it's set to an iPad. We change it to, let's say a Pixel 2. This is how it'll look on mobile. As you can see, it looks quite nice. It has the hamburger menu and all their designs, all their demos are mobile responsive just like this. So literally all you have to do is pick a template because there's so many, there's gonna be at least one that's pretty close to what you want. You pick a template, and then you just customize it to your needs. These are complete websites. These aren't just page templates. They have to import and then mix and match as you go. These are complete websites, and there are 376 of them. There's multiple for every niche you can think of. Maybe not every single one. Maybe coloring with crayons is maybe not a demo they have, but maybe it is. I haven't checked to every single one. But all these are installed with the click of a button, and they keep adding more of them. You see here the latest indication here, those are the newest ones. And there are lots. So you can go in here, talk to your client, have them pick one they like, or you talk to them and you decide which one would best suit their needs. You can pop in the template into the bridge theme on a new WordPress install, customize it to your client's needs, and you can have a completed website in a weekend or less. Depends how fast you work. And there are lots. And I think this is probably the main reason why this theme is so popular, because it comes with all of these. I'm not gonna go through all of them, I'm sure you can figure it out. They have them categorized as well, if you wanna just click into the categories. Another important thing about this theme is the shortcodes. So here under elements on the Code Interactive 
website for the bridge theme, we have a lot of short codes available to us. Some of these are built into the WP Maker page builder. They have to require they require that plugin to work. Some of them don't. Some are for the revolution slider. Some are for the code slider. Some are just standalone with with CSS that's built that into the way. Theme. Having these short codes allows you to really quickly add great functionality to your site. One of the most important things to consider when buying a theme or anything really is the support you get from the company that creates it. For the bridge theme, over on Theme Forest, anything you buy on Theme Forest, you can speak directly with the developers of the theme using the comments area. As you can see, there's a lot of discussion going on here. And for the bridge theme, there's also documentation. There's very complete documentation for the theme itself. Look at that in just a second. Video tutorials on YouTube, and you can submit tickets directly to the company, and they have a ticketing system to get back to you and, and help you fix your issues, whatever those may be. There's also a forum where there's other users of the bridge theme. There's lots of them. There's 106,000 sales. So there's going to be a bunch of users in the forum, and there are, and it's very active. And that's where you can find solutions to a lot of unique problems that are already solved, and you can just use their solutions. If you click on Browse Documentation, you can see there's a lot of documentation. Each one of these, not each one, but most of these have a drop down as well, and even sub drop downs, where they cover pretty much every single feature, either basic, right from just getting started to the most advanced features in the theme are covered in here. And you can get all the information there if you're a do-it-yourselfer, or if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, the ticketing system, or the comments on the Theme Forest blog are a great way to go. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to install this theme once you buy from Theme Forest. This is the default 2019 theme on WordPress 5. Not much to look at if you don't customize it, but inside the dashboard, you log into your site, and you just go to Appearance, and then Themes, and you click on Add New, then you click on Upload Theme, and from Theme Forest, you will have received a file, a zip file, with this name right here, Theme Forest dash random number, not random, but ID number, Bridge Creative Multipurpose WordPress Theme. You unzip it, inside they're gonna have a bridge.zip and a bridgechild.zip. You wanna install both of those, so let's do the first one. Install Bridge Theme. Click on Install Now. Once it's installed, click on Activate. Now we have a welcome screen for the bridge theme. Gives us some more information about it, some useful links. And what I'm gonna do now is install the child theme. You didn't actually have to activate the bridge theme there. I just wanna see what the splash page looked like. Click on Add New again to add another theme. Click on Upload Theme. And now we're gonna install the child theme. Click on Install Now. The reason you want to use child themes is when there's an update for the parent theme, it will overwrite any changes that you've made to the theme files themselves. Say, for example, the functions.php file or the CSS file. If you've made changes to those, those may be overwritten when the parent theme is updated. Those will not be overwritten if you've made those changes in a child theme. I've got a whole playlist on child themes linked to up above if you want to know more about them. They're pretty handy. Click on Activate to install the child theme. You have to have the bridge theme installed first, the parent one, before you can install the child. So that's why you do it in that order. And at the very top, we had a notification asking us to install some plugins. And these are the premium plugins from the Envato Marketplace. Layer Slider WP, Revolution Slider WP, WP Bakery Visual Composer, the Code Instagram Widget, Code Twitter Feed. Envato Market is not a plugin, but it gives you access to more Envato stuff and you can click on Begin Installing Plugins. These come bundled with the theme. There's no extra charge for these. Some of the features of these plugins are not 100% the same as if you buy the, the plugin from Code Canyon, but they are more than good enough for most websites. I'm just gonna select all of those. Select Install from Bulk Actions, click on Apply. Now that they're all installed, we're gonna activate them. So click on this checkbox again to select all of them. Under Bulk Actions, choose Activate and then Apply. And then wait a few moments and they'll all be activated. So now all the plugins are activated. If we go to our plugins list on the left here and click on just plugins or you can click on install plugins, you see the plugins list here of all the installed plugins. So you can update the ones that need updates. And you also see on the left hand side here we have a lot of new options like code slider, code carousel, masonry gallery, slider revolution, code options, layer slider WP, code import. These are all the options that come with the plugins or with a the theme. A lot of these plugins are very 
highly functional, meaning you can have an entire course just teaching how to use, for example, Layer Slider WP or Slider Revolution or WP Breaker Page Builder. Now that we have all these plugins installed and the theme installed, we can go ahead and activate a demo. To do that, just go to Code Import at the very bottom here. So here we can choose a demo to import. So if we choose any of these 370, let's do a Spa and Wellness. Up here on the left-hand side, or sorry, the right-hand side, it'll show plugins that are needed for the install to work. So we have these two already activated. We don't have Contact Form 7 yet, and it's recommended that we install it before we import the demo content. So let's just click on Install to install it. Takes us to this page here. Click on Install. Then click on Return to Qu Required Plugins Installer. Then we have to click on Activate to activate the plugin. Now we can go back to our code importer, find the template we want to import. Spot on the third is 229, Spa and Wellness. So now we have them all listed as installed and activated. Import type, we're going to choose all because we want all the content. And here's some warnings saying basically everything you have on your site is going to be overwritten when you import the demo content. So you only want to do this if you want to completely overwrite everything your site has or if you're working on a brand new website. Click on import when you're ready, then click on OK. It's going to fast forward while this installs. Shows here is import completed. We may have to set the home page as the home page, but let's just go out here and refresh and see how it looks. Because we might not have to set the home page as the home page. Might just work out of the box. So here's how our template blog post could look. Obviously, we have to tweak some things. We've got to add our logo, change the menu to what our menu needs to be, things like that. But the design is all in here, and it's all laid out the way this template is laid out. And if we check out the home page, for example, just try going to this first one. Not sure why there's two. We'll delete one of them, but there might be two home pages with this template, so you can choose whichever one is the best for you. And here's one of the home pages, pretty darn good looking. All you have to do is replace the images, or not even. You can use these images if you want to for your site, but definitely replace the text because you have some lorem ipsum in here. And just customize it to your needs, and you have a website that's done in a very short amount of time. There's a couple ways you can customize things on the site. First, if we go back into the back end, is the theme options. Get to that in a minute. The second is the slider revolution, because that home page has a slider revolution slider on it. That's why we had to install slider revolution. And WP Baker Page Builder Visual Composer is another way to customize the theme. And let's take out the options we have for the theme first. So if we go to code options, let's click on that. And it should open a page with a lot of theme settings in it. Now this is where you can adjust a lot of stuff, if not nearly everything, to do with your theme. And all well-coded themes have these. So if your theme that you have is well-coded, like Bridge is, it will have something like this, where you can change things without actually changing any CSS. So we have a general tab where we have general things like Google Fonts, default font families for the whole site, default colors for everything on the site. And you can set all these, just click on select color, and you can add a hex code in here, or you can pick a color with the color picker. And again, all this is without CSS. You just click some toggles, pick some colors. They're all very descriptive. It explains exactly what everything is. And it's super easy to do. And we have the logo section. I'm not going to go through every single one because you just click into them, and then you see what options you have for them. Turn the options on and off and see what that does for your site and see if that's an option you like or don't like. Most of the time when you have theme options, you have the option to pick a regular logo or a retina logo, which is higher resolution for retina displays. But here you have a logo for normal, for a light background, for a dark background, logo for the sticky header, for the fixed advanced header, for the mobile header, for the side menu area, logo height in the mobile header, logo height for mobile devices. And that's a lot of options. And it just goes to show you how many different options you have for building headers and things like that. In the, in the header section, you can customize everything to do with the header of your site. And the header is generally where you have your navigation. And all of these are very well explained in the description and in the documentation that we saw earlier. So all of these are really no problem for you to just turn on and off and try out or refer to the documentation to figure out what they are. But there's so many options in here that you can create pretty much any style of header that you want. Then you have options for the footer, the title of the site, fonts, elements. Let's take a look at that one. This is one of the unique items of this theme. When you have theme options for other themes, they don't usually have an elements tab. And here you can set color, 
thicknesses, widths, all kinds of dimensions and all kinds of parameters for pretty much every element that you can create either using short codes or other ways on your site. Counters, horizontal progress bars, pie charts, tabs. And there's literally hundreds of options in here. And you can customize things to exactly fit your needs or your client's needs. You can set the sidebar, the code slider. You can define how pages look, how the search page looks, how the blog page looks. You can create 404 pages, contact pages, parallax, settings specific to the Visual Composer plugin, contact form seven, turn on maintenance mode. And after you've set this plethora of options here, if you have a certain set of options that you like as a base level for all the sites you make, you can just go to import export, export all the options for the base level, and then you can just import them to every site that you build and save yourself a lot of time. Another way to customize your site is using the WP Breakthrough Page Builder. Page builders are all the rage these days because they're easy to use. They're drag and drop. You don't have to code anything anymore. And you can have a lot of advanced designs without any coding knowledge. And WP Breakthrough Page Builder comes built into this theme, as we've said many times. I've linked to a set of tutorials up above. It's a playlist for WP Breakthrough Page Builder, which shows you a lot of how to use the plugin. So I'm not gonna go into it here, because it's another one of those things where it takes an entire course to show it properly. Just know you have it integrated here and it's a great plugin. It does really good stuff. One last thing I wanna show you guys, if you head into the general tab of the theme options and you scroll down a little ways, there's a lot of options in the general tab. You have to scroll down a little bit right near the bottom. We have the ability to add custom CSS if you want to, custom JavaScript if you want to. You have SEO settings, so the theme is SEO friendly but the SEO settings are not as advanced as you get in a plugin like SEO Yoast. So I recommend you use SEO Yoast with this theme. I have linked to a tutorial up above that walks you through how to set that up and how to use SEO Yoast to get your on-page SEO handled. And either way, the theme is SEO friendly, which is important. And then on top of that, you can bolt on SEO Yoast and really nail down your on-page SEO. So in summary, the bridge theme is an awesome theme. Its biggest selling point, I believe, are the 376 plus, and they're always adding more, complete demo websites that you can use as you see fit for yourself or for your clients. As well as this theme having reached over 100,000 sales on Theme Forest, that's pretty rare, and it really speaks to the quality of the theme. Also, the elements that we have, there's just so many, so many elements to choose from to make your visual creation of your website so much faster, so much easier. And it comes bundled with Revolution Slider, WP Layer Slider, WP Timetable, and WP Break Your Page Builder. And all four of those are premium plugins. So if you add up the cost of those plugins, it's actually more than the theme itself costs. And the theme itself is only 59. So I encourage you, if you're looking for a new theme or a new way to service your clients faster, head over to Theme Forest, look up the bridge theme, click on Buy Now, and get started. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Make sure you check out the prior Facebook group, a link to in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.